what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in this video i'm going to simply be um, connecting with christine one of my clients a real estate agent out of the state of texas um, and i'm going to be walking her through how to set up a facebook video ad so this is for any 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 small business owner um, focused on a local area um, my whole big thing you know building a building an agency doing doing you know um, social media marketing services and facebook advertising for for local businesses since 2016 my whole big thing was stop trying to build organically like stop trying to post on all these different platforms organically and trying to rely on on getting new business that way because if you're a local business owner and you're out there posting organically chances are the majority of the people who follow you whether it's linkedin instagram facebook twitter whatever like the majority of people are going to live across the country they're going to live outside of your jurisdiction they're going to live outside of your freaking local market so as you continue to try to post and build business related information and you can have the best business but if you're local then 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 it, it kind of doesn't matter because people can't 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 do business with you now if you're a, a digital service or if you're a nationwide type of brand then yeah that's when it makes a lot of sense but but not not if you're local and and needing to deal with people one on one you're you're a yoga studio you're a chiropractor you're a local dentist you're a local real estate agent my whole thing is focusing on 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 targeting your local area and the only way you can do that on social media is through paid advertising, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, um, things of that nature. So, what you're gonna what you're gonna kind of view here over the next few minutes is is me just walking walking Christine through um, setting up a Facebook video ad. She simply did a video um, of herself, and and we're gonna now target. It's an intro video. It's something I always encourage my clients to do: is to pull out your phone, introduce yourself, let your local market know who the heck you are, your background, your experience, your passion, why you're so fired up, you know, to be helping people. You know, it's a simple intro video. So what I advised her to do, Christine is to pull out your phone, do a quick video, upload it to your business page, and now let's run a Facebook ad. And again, target that local area and get thousands of people to see that video. Now, this is step one. This is this is part one. This is step one of, of what's going to be a, a long working relationship with Christine, running conversion ads, running lead capture ads after this. But the whole objective with this first one is just to build an audience, is just to get the audience warmed up, to build a custom audience of those who watch the video. Um, that's step one. One. And then step two is to turn around and run conversion ads and start retargeting these people. Okay, so enjoy this one, you guys. And again, if you're new to the channel, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency and an affiliate marketing business. So if you're into making money online, subscribe smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Um, let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can help you online. All right, guys, so um, give me one second. Let me get Christine on the line and then we'll go from there. David. Hey, 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 hi, good morning. How are you? Hi. Good morning, better. <laughs> good, good, feeling good? Yeah, well, awesome. Awesome. My I did have a problem with my video. Um, the last 20 I did, did not have sounds in the beginning and I don't know why. Mm. It sounds oh, gradually man. increases. So, I mean, it's the way it is. I can't change it. Okay. So, okay. It's yeah. all good. Were you able to upload it to your business page? Yeah, it's there. Okay, cool. So go ahead and share your screen. Let's go to your Facebook business page. And then let's also open up another tab and go to your uh, Facebook ads manager. Okay. Thank you. And then, um, yeah, the Facebook business page and the, the ads okay. manager. Yeah, so let's just go, let's take a look at the video real quick, because what we want to do is when, when we upload that video, um, and then we come back to run an actual ad, when mm -hmm. we set up the ad, we're not going to be able to change the text or anything about the video. Like once the video is is up, it's up. So what I always like to do is, is kind of just be like your second eyes, right? Your second pair of eyes, and just take a right. look real quick to make sure there's no misspellings or make sure there's not a comma that's missing, little random stuff like that. Because again, okay. once we go and set up the ad, we're not going to be able to change anything on the post. So let's just okay. make sure, let's double check, quadruple check that this post is, well, is good. Like I said, unfortunately, um, why won't my screen move? Unfortunately, it is not, um, you can't, it's not loud in the beginning and I don't know how to fix it. It's I, all right. Like I said, I've done so many and they just didn't work. Look at that. That looks good though. That looks good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that looks good, I hate Christine. It. 
Thank you. See, as you uh, see again, the whole power here, the whole, not the power, but the magic, the magic, the magic is the fact that when it comes to social media, everyone wants to post. And the problem with that is that you start attracting people from all over the country. Right. So, so the, the magic. And in that's this, not what we want, right? Yeah, not at all. Like the magic in this is we're now going to target that area. And so as your local area starts to see this, like you uh-huh. just look like an educator, like you look like someone I can learn something from, like you, you have a good look, you look knowledgeable, you look professional. And as that face continues to get branded in your backyard, that's mm-hmm. the magic. Like that's the magic. I need the right people to see this message, right? People that we're doing business with in our local farm, in our zip codes, in our area, right? So right. don't ever, the, the whole thing here is, is to, is to keep putting out video no matter what, sometimes the lighting is going to be bad. Sometimes the audio is going to, audio is going to sound horrible. Sometimes there, you don't, you have no idea how many YouTube videos I've done where mm-hmm. I'll do a 35 minute freaking video. I'll do an hour long damn video. And the mute button was on the whole time. Uh, yeah. So it's like, it happens like shit happens. So it's like, what mute button? What mute button? Cause like I'm when, wondering. Like when I'm if- like, when I'm doing like, I use zoom, like we're on zoom mm-hmm. right now. So, so I can mute myself right? I can mute myself and then I can up oh, yeah. mute myself. But there's been, been many times where I'm doing a video for my YouTube channel and I was on mute the whole time. Aye, you know, aye, aye. I go and play yeah, back. That's frustrating. <laughs> yeah, it's like, damn, but you know, things happen and, 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 and we move on. And that's why I want you to just kind of get in the habit, like get in the habit of doing video, like no matter what, I don't care what the heck the issue is, like, just keep putting them out like they're going out of style. Um, I said to my husband, when I used to do it before, I do live Facebook lives, mm -hmm. but I had a product I was promoting. And so I would unbox things and I'd have something to talk about that was tangible. Here, I'm just talking about me and it's hard to just sit there with nothing to do, you know? Oh, yeah. See, this is the intro. And then after this, then we're going to focus on weekly videos, educating people on the process of selling. Okay. So, so if you need to have a prop, if you need to have the actual seller guide in your hand and, and, and maybe you're doing a quick one minute video and you're, you're referring to page three mm. on your seller guide and, and you're saying, Hey guys, yeah, here on page three, here's what I'm talking about. You know, in this paragraph, okay. I talk about the, you know, the importance of, 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 of curb appeal and why curb appeal is so important, you know, like little random stuff like that, that you can probably put in, in your hand and then just talk about like, that's going to be like, and especially staying on topic, talking about the, the topic of, of, of selling or, or buying either one. But mm-hmm. if you're going after sellers and giving away a seller guide, just different topics of different, different, different things to talk about on that topic of selling, you'll continue to get better. Mm-hmm. Like you're going to get better. And, and I'm just excited I'm, for you. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Oh my so, gosh. I just really, my husband must be so tired of hearing the same speech. <laughs> over, and over again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So then we have just, so here's what we, here's what we want to do. Let's go ahead and click the dots real quick. The, um, the three dots right there in the top, right. Mm-hmm. And let me just show you how to just simply edit, edit the video real quick. Again, this is okay. super important. Yeah. Edit post. Okay. Because again, once we go and set up the ad, we cannot change any of this anymore. So we let's, let, we'll, we'll knock out, knock it out now. Okay. Okay, cool. So, so here right there in the title. Like, in fact, let me give you an example. Go to Facebook, open up another tab. Yeah. Open up another tab and go back to Facebook. So open up Facebook on this other tab, go back to Facebook and open up your, um, and just go to the news feed and just scroll through the news feed. And let's just see, let's just see a random ad. Okay. And I'll, sh- well, yeah, we'll we're just kind of get a sponsored one. Yeah. We're looking for a sponsored one. So here goes sponsored There's- right here. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So this is a perfect example. So when we go and edit our video or our post, this is what we're looking at. So we're looking at relive, relive your past year on Facebook in a photo in a photo book. So there's the text, mm-hmm. right? And then if right. you scroll down, scroll down right below the video, there's mm-hmm. the title. The title, it's kind of weird oh. because the title is down, whereas the title okay. should be at the at the top, right? But right. Facebook calls Facebook calls that bottom part the title. So the title is preview your 2020 photo book in one click and mm-hmm. then and they also put 4.7 stars 11,000 plus reviews that's the title so if you go back to the other tab go back to your post your title right now is blank mm-hmm. so we want to put something there 
So we want to put something. How about if we put my name? Because maybe we're going to, could we edit, edit out the part that's quiet or not? No, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to, nor does it matter. Like it doesn't matter. Like it really, it, it doesn't matter at all. Um, but, and here's another thing. Here's another thing. What we can do also is we can, which, which is a little time consuming, but a lot of times it is, it is worth it. And, and in this case, it probably, it probably would be worth it where you can click on captions right there to the right. And you can actually, um, Facebook will, 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 um, they'll pre-generate and they'll generate the, the captions, the subtitle. Actually, it's the subtitle. Is that adding caption? Scroll down. Is it captions or subtitle? But what I'm referring to is subtitle. Yeah, I think it's yeah. under captions. It might be under captions. So click on captions. But okay. what we can do is we can simply, yeah, right there at the top. So um, auto-generate. What it will do is it will generate the subtitles. So if the volume is low, then maybe the words, maybe the subtitles, you know, can make up for it. Will it will it say what I said? Yeah, like you would you would oh, that's you could well well you can choose to auto generate it, but then you can go back in and you can re edit it yourself. Like you can listen to it word by word and and read and change every single word word by word. Actually, yeah yeah. So, watch. Go ahead and click on click on write write captions right where it says write w r i t e down. Oh okay. Yeah, see, so so get out of here. Let's see, scroll up to the top. Is there, go to English. I mean, do you have, to, normally you can, normally just go straight into it. Like type in, let's see if you could just type in English. Oh, there we go. Yeah, scroll down. There it is. There we go, English. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so here's, here's, here's where it's at. So all you would do is you would press play and then it, and then it would, it would, it would show the words to the right. And then you would just simply change out the word, put a period, you know, like, Push, go ahead and press play. It's not saying anything. Now it starts talking. I've been a Texas licensed realtor full time since 2004. And I'm supposed to be saying everything to the right. Go ahead and save as draft. Just go ahead and save it as draft. Yes, 17 years. I the first words I say, and do you know, last night it was doing, because uh, I made like three or four perfect videos. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I love them. Mm -hmm. And when I played them, the whole first like three or four seconds weren't there. So what I did then after that was I was letting it run three to four, three to five seconds before I started speaking. It still didn't take up my first words. Mm -hmm. Click so on review know. and edit right there. Review and edit. Let's see if we can go okay. and see the actual words. Review and edit right next to I'm English. Looking. No down. Review and edit. As you can click on the thumbnail as well. So let's go back in. Click on um click on the three. Yeah, click on the click on edit post. Edit and then, post. Yeah, edit post and then thumbnail. So the thumbnail is just the first, you know, the first slide, the first image, right. the first, yeah. So click on thumbnail and you might go ahead and scroll through and see if, you know, there's maybe a different still image that you like. That one's not a bad one. You're smiling, you look excited. But if you scroll to the right, um, you can see, um, yeah, click that. You can see different, different ones. Well, there was one there that wasn't bad, this one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Okay, Should I cool. click so, on it? Yeah, click on that. And then go ahead and click on video details to the top, on the top right, right above the thumbnail, video details. Click on it. Yeah, click on that. So let's add a title right here. So okay. the, the text, just a little bit about me, for those who don't know me, and then maybe in the title, you know, your, your local realtor serving that city or serving that county or serving, um, we want to put local real estate agent or real estate broker or realtor or whatever title you have. Maybe okay. that might be good. Um, in the, since the you don't, since you can't hear Christine D. Simone, Austin's boutique realtor, should I put it in there or will that come up when on the, um, on the ad? No, you'd want to put it right there for sure. Like put it right there. Oh. And this title is something like short and sweet, like not too, too long. Um, but putting your name is not a bad idea. Like that would look good. 
and then maybe put, you know, your local, your local, or yeah, Austin's Boutique Realtor. Serving, uh, serving Travis and Williamson counties. Yes. Yeah. You could maybe, maybe put the, cause, cause that's already long enough. Um, All right. Maybe putting serving somewhere in the, in the text, just a little bit about me for those who don't know me. Um, serving. Serving. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put it somewhere. Down the there. greater Austin area. Yeah. The greater Austin area. Perfect. Just a little, just a little about me for those who don't know me. I'm your local, I'd put, I put, I'm your local real estate professional, or I'm your local realtor serving the greater Austin area, or I'm, I'm, I'm your local realtor. I'm your local, I'm your local real estate professional, real estate professional, and have been serving the greater Austin area for the past, whatever many years or since 19 I've, I've only been in austin eight years nine perfect. years perfect so let's put that enough? so okay, just a little I'm bit about me for those who don't know me i'm your local real estate professional serving the greater austin area for the past nine years or something like that Yeah, that sounds good, I think. Perfect. Perfect. So let's click save. And good. So that so so just keep in mind, every time you upload a video, come in here, change out the thumb, change out the thumbnail, add that title, um, and then and then you're good. So go ahead and go ahead and refresh this page. Let's refresh this page. Um just hit that um that circle wait, arrow to the left. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're good here. We're good here. Post is good. Everything is edited. Now let's go into, so go ahead and scroll down and let's look at that real quick. It takes so long to load stuff. There we go. So everything is up, updated. Perfect. So the thumbnail is the, is the still before they click to watch yes. it, right? Yes. So okay. as they're scrolling through the news feed, they'll see that thumbnail first. Um, and, then, and then it starts playing automatically. Okay. And then the title, okay. if you click on it, so in the news feed, just like the other sponsored ad, the title is going to show right below the video. But in this case, when it's on the page, you got to click on the video, go ahead and click on the video, open it up, let the, let the video expand, click to expand. In this exciting industry. There we go. And then there I goes your, on your title. Yeah. For real estate and the people I serve. So I'm sure okay. you're wondering, what so, is a Realtor. Pause that. Let's go, to, go to the ads manager and let's run this ad. Okay. Yeah, perfect. So let's let's okay. jump into the ads manager and, and let's 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 run this ad. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, cool. So always always keep in mind that when whenever you're in here, um, mm -hmm. first of all, you always want to be doing this from a computer, like from your laptop, from a desktop, from an actual computer. A lot of people try to do this from their cell phone, like tr always come up to a computer and, and do all this, um, yeah. because you can just I'm see more, you have a better view of it all. Right. Okay. I'm on my lap. Yeah. You, no. Yeah, for sure. Perfect. So, but as you're navigating through here, sometimes Facebook will have you in a different account. Right now you're in Austin's boutique realtor 196-633441. Like you're in the right account, but sometimes as you're navigating, you're in a different account. So always double check whenever you come in, always double check that that's your actual account that you're in. Okay. So this is the beginning. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the green button, click create, and then we're going to start this ad. So the very first ad, the intro, what we always do is we'll do video views. Now, as you run future ads and as you as you put out future videos, let's for example, let's say ad number two. Ad number two and on are going to be conversion ads. So right there in the top right, you have conversions. Yeah. And and conversions is for 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 businesses that are that are looking to capture leads. Whether you're looking to capture a lead, you need someone to click, enter their name and number, and click submit. That's a lead. Either you're in the business of lead generation or you're looking to make a sale. 
So if you have a website and you're selling blouses or or or, or shoes or handbags or necklaces, and you have a website and your in your whole objective is to get people to buy, that's also conversions. So conversions okay. is is an action that we're trying to get people to do. In this case, okay. and that's that's ad number two and on. It's only okay. the first one which we in which we do video views. Because our whole objective here is to is to run an ad to a cold market to get a percentage of them to watch our video. This is a warm up. This is a warm up. This is how we introduce ourselves to our local area. And I tell people all the time, even if you've been living in your area for the past 37 years, you mm-hmm. still don't know everyone, right? Like right. you still don't know right. everyone. So as this ad goes out, and even though we're targeting your local area, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, especially if you're in a busy city, like I'm in San Diego, there's 3 million mm-hmm. people here. Like I've been here for 40 years. I don't even know my neighbors. Right. Wow. So it's like, yeah. and that's how it is. If you think about your, your place, you don't know all your neighbors. No. Right. Of course not. And, and you've right. been there for, for nine years. And it's like, yeah. that's just how it is. So, so the first, the first ad, it, it goes out technically to a cold market, people that don't know us. So in this case, we go video views because again, mm-hmm. the objective is to get a handful of them to watch our video. And those handful become our warm audience. So let's say, for example, we run this first ad and we get, let's say we get 7,000 people to view it. Mm-hmm. Those 7,000, let's say in our city, there was 100,000. We targeted 100,000 people in the area, but only 7,000 watched it. That 7,000 becomes our warm market. Now mm-hmm. we retarget them and show them our next ad. Right. And then we show them our third ad. And then we show them our fourth ad. And every ad, we're having a new few thousand people watch it. So we're retargeting ad number two. At, we're retargeting everyone who watched video number three, right? So it just keeps, yeah. we keep, we keep it gets retargeting. Bigger and bigger. It that? gets bigger. It, so your audience gets bigger and bigger. Yes, your audience continues to get bigger and bigger. Um, and, and again, in real estate, that's why I love real estate. I love, I love, I love real estate agents and Facebook advertising because it takes one deal. Like it takes one deal to justify everything right. you're about to do here. Right. Because right. your profit margin is, is, is there. So right. if we were selling necklaces and our profit margin was $3 per unit, then it might be a little bit more challenging to spend money over here. But if we right. could spend a few hundred a month and make a few thousand on one deal, that's yeah. worth it. That's worth it. Yeah, right. Of course. Of course. So, so, I'm at- See if I can get a deal out of this. Right, exactly. So, but, but it's not, people, it's not, it's not out of this. What's that? Do your people um, show a profit? I mean, they get deals on this? Oh the yeah, but here, yeah, but but here's the deal. Here's where everybody drops the ball. Here's where 99% of people in general, when it comes to businesses and Facebook advertising, here's where 99% drop the ball. And this is based on experience. This is from me talking to thousands of people since 2016 on this exact topic 10 hours a day. This is what I do. Yeah. Where I found people drop the ball is the fact that they, they, they lack the consistency. So they'll run a couple ads here and there, and then they'll take a break for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. The whole magic over here is to, is to run an ad daily, daily, not a different ad. So for example, with this one, you run for seven days. And then in okay. the next week we go get another video and we run that for seven days. And then the third week we do another video and we run that for seven days. Every single week you need to be running an ad every day. It's mm-hmm. every day. So, so every day we need to be targeting that local area. That's where people drop the ball. They'll run maybe three ads, four ads. And then, and then, and then, and then for whatever reason, they don't get to the next ad, you know, maybe cause they're, 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 they're busy. Like you guys are busy. Like you got deals coming. You got leads all from all over the place coming in right now. If you think about it, Christy, right, right? now, whether, the, right. whether it's, 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 whether it's wood and deals that aren't closing, that's besides the point, but you're pretty damn busy just being busy. Yep. And so it's like, yep. this is a whole nother project. And sometimes, and I, I just truly believe most people neglect it. I just truly believe most people don't take fully advantage of it when it's like, man, it's a fraction of what you would spend anywhere else. Probably. Fraction. Yeah. Fraction. Probably to um, devote one day, make sure that it's scheduled on that same day every week or something. Exactly. That's why what I really want you to do is I want you to get in the habit. And, and, and this is also regardless of if that next ad goes out, like regardless, regardless if we're going to run an ad next week or not, here's what I want you to do. I really want you to get in the habit of making a new video every seven days. 
no okay. matter what, like no matter what, whether you're going to run an ad on it or not, a new, a new video needs to go on this business page. So stop worrying about trying to post all the time. Stop worrying about trying to post on Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter and all these damn platforms. Stop worrying about having to post all the time. Focus on doing one video for this business page every week, every seven days. So for example, today's Saturday. So today's Saturday. Saturday is the day. Every Saturday morning, there needs to be a new video on Christine's Facebook business page as if it was her religion. Okay, wait, Get let me ask you, do Get I always have to be in it? What's that? Do I always have to be in it? No, not necessarily. You could, you could, you could pull out your phone, walk down the street and start filming some properties and just talk right. about it. Just talk about it from behind the camera and, and, and just give us your two cents. Like that's, those are great videos. Great videos are on your cell phone when you're walking around. Okay. Because it, it attracts people. It makes people look in the, in the Facebook newsfeed. It makes us stop because now we're seeing a background. Now we're seeing a neighborhood. Now we're seeing like trees. Now it's it, psychologically, it makes us stop in our track. It's actually better than just having a still background like, like, like I do all the time. Like my videos, I'm in my office. I have a, a still background. I'm doing screen share. I'm in my chair. I'm on my office really? desk. It's boring. But yeah. when, when I go out and I have my phone and I'm doing selfie style, I'm, I'm, I'm letting the whole, I'm letting the surroundings be my prop. Right. And, and that tends to, to draw more attention and, and, and it makes people stop and watch and wonder what the heck you're doing or wonder where you're walking or wonder what's in the background, you know, like, it, it, it attracts people more. So to answer your question, no, start doing some videos outdoor and start, start talking about property. If you're after listings and our whole objective and our whole goal here is to focus on sellers, a great, great content could be walking outside, going to film some properties and giving us, giving us your two cents on what you would advise your client to do to increase that value. Maybe okay. you go down a neighborhood where the houses are kind of beat up and you're talking about it. You're okay. giving us your advice, your professional advice on what you would advise to increase that value. Paint, new stucco, curb appeal, maybe put a new roof, talk about the, you know, the freaking, the, the outdated, you know, porch or whatever. Mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 and how much a, a few thousand can go into it and how much more it can increase the value for those that are looking to sell, you know, right? videos like okay. that are really, really good and simple. I want you to have fun with this. Like, keep it simple. You know, okay. um, so I have to ask about it. I mean, as far as taking thing, you know, houses and things like that, I'm not as nervous, but having to sit there for yeah, two yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. About <laughs> they don't all got to be like this at all, at all, at all. Okay. But, but what you do want to do, this is very, very, very important. What you do want to do is stay on topic. So the topic is selling. The topic is focused on homeowners who are looking to sell. That's the topic. So, okay. so with that being said, you don't want to start talking about forbearance. You don't want to talk about short sell. You don't want to talk about for for actually you could in, in that case, if we're, if we're talking about selling, I could talk about short sell. I could talk about, you know, if you don't sell, maybe some people are going to end up, end up going into foreclosure and then maybe I can educate people on why you don't want to foreclose. So you could talk about that because it all relates to, to, to having to sell eventually. So right. as long as you're on that topic it gives Facebook the ability to find thousands of people who are, who are all interested in that same topic. Okay. So it makes it, it makes it easier for, for everyone. And then, it, and then, and then for you, it attracts that one person. And, 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 and the, the reality is, is that cause I, I did mortgages forever. So it's like once, once that seller comes in, for example, you get that seller lead, all kinds of other, other things can happen from that. That person right. can have an aunt that needs to short sell. That person can have an, a, a son who's looking a first time buy. Mm -hmm. right? So, so, so right. many things can come out of the fact that I was only talking about selling. I attracted that seller, but she brought her cousins and aunts with her and they want to do other things. And that's good for my business. You know what I mean? So, but, but, but as far as the content, yeah, stay on topic. And so this will be our only video view ad after this ad number two, then we'll go into conversions. And that's when we start capturing leads. That's when you'll want to start giving away a seller guide or a buyer guide. Um, that's when you'll, that's, that's ad number two and, and on, but okay. this video view ad, there's, there's a couple different strategies. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and, and hit that drop down right there above the continue button, hit that drop down right above it. And that's going to open up the bottom. And this, this is just the, the, the titling of, of each step, the campaign, the ad set, and the ad. These are what I call three steps. These are the only three steps 
This is what I call the three tabs. And this is what we'll view when we look at the dashboard. It's those three tabs, campaign ad set ad. So Jake, here, I'm never gonna remember this though. You, I didn't get the video of the, what you did, we did last time. You'll get this I, one. Okay. I'll, I'll send you that one too, but, but I'll send you this one once we're done. But okay. this is where we simply just title each, 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 each step of the process. So the campaign, okay. let's just name that, let's name that intro video. And then in parentheses, we're going to put video views because video views is the objective. That's the campaign objective we're going with. So we'll just put that in parentheses. Um, oh, nobody sees this but me. No, yeah, only you. Yep, okay. only you. And then the ad set will be the city that we're targeting. So we'll go intro video and then we'll do, we'll do, um, go ahead and go ahead and no, just the title. Yeah. Title, just go ahead and title it. And, and we'll just title it, title it the city. Keep it that simple. All right. Cause no, I don't not, really No, not the, not the word, the, the city, your actual city. Like who, where are we targeting? Oh. Are we targeting Austin? <laughs> are we targeting yeah. Austin? I really don't want to target all of Austin though, because there's places in Austin I don't want to go, but I'll yeah. put Austin. we can, we can um, update the mileage. So go ahead and put just Austin, put the word Austin. Okay. Be Austin. <laughs> just put Austin. And Got then, it. and then the ad, we'll just put video like video is just, it's just the video. It's the intro video. You can write the same thing. Intro video. No, the title oh. name. Yeah. Name. Yeah. So we'll oh, just gosh. go, um, the city. let's just go intro video. So those are the three titles. Um, and then we'll click continue. Okay. So as we come into the first tab, the first step, which is campaign over here, because you're in real estate, you always, always, always have to turn that special ad category. You always have to turn that on right now. It's off. You want to turn it on. So I'm looking. Oh, especially. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. So you always go with housing, hit the drop down, and you'll see housing. So right. real estate in employment credit. If anyone's in any of those other, you know, industries, you'll, you'll want to, you know, check that. So we're good there. H housing scroll all the way to the bottom campaign budget optimization is, is good when you're targeting multiple at when you're running multiple ad sets, which we won't get into now because you, you won't, you won't really have to do that. You're targeting one city and, and that's, and it's pretty cut and dry. So we don't need, we don't need to turn that one on. We'll hit next. So now we're going to the second step, the second tab, which is Austin, which is the ad set over here is where we choose our budget. We choose the, 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 the schedule on, on when we want to run it, how long we want to run it over here. We choose the, um, the targeting, um, and, and then, and then the actual custom audiences, if we, if we're going to be doing any custom audiences, which I'll explain all this stuff, but um, this is the ad set. This is the second step. So here's all we're going to do. It really comes down to the way I try to look at the budget. There's two different ways you can, you can, you can set this budget for this intro video, two different strategies. One strategy is to, is to look at the monthly budget and just kind of see, okay, how much are we going to allocate per month? To, to our Facebook advertising, whether it's 100 bucks a month, 200 bucks a month, 300 bucks, whatever. Whatever the monthly is, what I normally do is just divide it in four. So whatever mm -hmm. that monthly budget is, divided by four, that's the budget for this one ad, right? That's week one. Gotcha. But that's for daily though. No, you're going to change that. You're going to change that. Oh. But but that's one one strategy. One strategy is to simply put put X amount, you know, a quarter of the monthly budget into, into this one intro video ad. That's one strategy. Another strategy, because it's an intro video, another strategy is to simply leave the video on and to put it at a low budget. Let's just say three bucks a day, four bucks mm -hmm. a day. You know, mm -hmm. if I, if I run it for, let, let's say I put a hundred bucks a month into this ad and I let it run at all times. That's another strategy because what will happen is that there's hundreds of thousands of people in that area. So your five bucks a day or three bucks a day or four bucks a day, even 10 bucks a day, even 20 bucks a day is not going to reach all them people. So if I can have this ad on at all times and have it running at a low budget, my face is being branded 24 seven in my local backyard. And yeah. that's a good thing. And that's a good thing because as that ad continues to run, 24 seven. And I could turn it off whenever the heck I want to. I mean, but what I'm thinking is more long-term I'm thinking it, 
I'm thinking at yeah. least 30 plus days. I'm talking at least 30 plus days where you just right. leave it on. You and and we're not talking spending a ton of money on it. You know, um, again, do the math. Three bucks a day, like 30 30 days. That's I mean, what is that? Freaking ninety dollars. So it's it's right. uh, you put a hundred bucks a month towards this ad to always show this ad to everyone in that area at all times. Here's what happens. Now that audience will continue to grow. So now when we go on, on to ad number two, which would not be on month number two, ad number two would be week number two. Mm -hmm. but, but but in the background, this one continues to run. So as we go into week number two, and now we're going after seller leads, now we're running conversions, now we're looking for leads, we'll always be retargeting. As we go into ad number three, ad number four, this audience will just continue to grow. And so anyone and everyone who watches this video, they're going to see ad number two, three, four, five, six, seven right away. So if I'm on ad number nine and I'm retargeting everyone who has watched this video because it's still going on, that could be good as well. So, okay. so maybe allocating maybe, it the month, but maybe more. Yeah. Like, like I'm saying the month I'm saying like, let's just, let's just on, on a low number. Like even if you just spend a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks a month on this one ad to have your face always showing in this local area with a simple intro video. And those who watch it will see every other ad after that, mm -hmm. you know? So okay. that's a strategy as well. It's, 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 and, and that, again, it could be a low budget, like a low, a low, a low budget, like a low daily budget. We can go daily budget or we can go lifetime budget. But, um, but you know, it's up to you. It's, it's totally up to you. So ideally weekly, like if you ran that weekly, so again, monthly budget, a quarter of that would go into this and you would run it for one week. You could do mm -hmm. that. You could do that. You could totally just do that. Um, what do you just run it a week. You can, you can in a week, you, you'll, you'll get a few thousand people to view it. Um, and then, and then, and then week number two, you just roll out the next ad. This one turns off and then you just roll out the next ad. And then, you know, we retarget, we continue to target Austin, but then we also retarget everyone who watched this one. Okay. So, so you would recommend putting like maybe taking a few days off and putting this one on again? No, I would, I would recommend, I mean, I would <laughs> recommend if the budget was there, I would recommend just leaving this one on. Like okay. let it run, let it run for the whole month. Like let it run for the whole month. But we want to, we want to definitely start ad number two, at least in a week. So next week we want to already be starting ad number two for conversions for, for lead capture, but just okay. have this one running in the background. Okay. You know, Sounds good. So, now ad number two, what is that going to, is that, that's not going to have a video, is it? It can, it, it, it can, I recommend. Yeah, for sure. That's when we're now no longer just talking about yourself. Now we're giving out advice on, on the seller guide. Now we're talking about seller tips. Now we're talking about, Hey, click, learn more to download my free PDF. Click, learn more to download my free seller guide. That's ad number two. So what would you suggest as the video for ad number two? What kind of, what type of video? It, it's simple. Simply education based. All you're doing is giving me a quick one minute or a quick two minute on one topic of selling. So for example, if I had a PDF and in my PDF, I'm giving all these different examples of selling. All mm -hmm. I would do is I would take apart that PDF, maybe by paragraph. And there goes my one video. Hey guys, this is Christine. Just wanted to come on here today. I just recently put out a 2021 seller guide for those who are interested or just want to know, you know, what it takes to sell in 2021. Over here on page two, I was talking about this. Let me explain this a little bit more. Okay. And by the way, and by the way, if you guys haven't downloaded your free copy and if you're, and if you're thinking about selling or maybe just wanted to get more educated on it, I am giving you uh, giving away this free PDF for a limited time only. So click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. See you guys there. Okay. Right. Like, like simple, like all I'm doing is, and then, and then, and then, and then week number three, I'm talking about maybe something on page three. Yeah. Right. Okay. And, and, and now, and, and again, there, that's my prop. That's my prop. Maybe, maybe go down to your local like print shop and maybe print out that PDF in color yeah. And, and, and use that as a prop and, and right. actually, you know, read from it as you're doing the damn video. 
right? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, right. this is something on page four that I really wanted to highlight. This is super important for those that are thinking about selling this year. Let me explain this, you know, and let, let you guys know what I, what I mean by it. Okay. You know, that sounds good. Yeah. So, but, 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 but also, also always keep in mind that the end, at the end of the video, at the end, at the end, at the end, the last five seconds, last 10 seconds, there's always that call to action. And the call to action is to click, learn more, click, learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free copy. Okay. That's always the call to action. Um, because you'll have that that learn well, more. It'll be, this, it'll be in this video, so I will review the video before I do the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So here it just comes down to what we want to do. Do and and what? Yeah, what we want to do. Do we want to run it all month, or do we want to run it for just seven days? It's up to you. This one. This one. The intro. Yeah, the intro. I'll run it for a month, low yeah. on low. So yeah. here's here's what I want you to do. Just just put hit the drop down the daily budget go to lifetime and let's just call it a hundred bucks, put a hundred bucks there. And then we're going to, we're going to set that date. We're going to set, set the start and end date. And we'll just set that for a 30 day run. So change out that date, start and date. So when do we want it to go live? We want it to go. And, and what I do right now, it's, it's the 20, it's the 23rd. So right. once we publish this ad, it goes into review for at least a few hours. So what I always do is I always set the ad to go live the next day. Okay. So go the 24th, go 6 a.m., 6 a.m., and then, and then just change the end date to February 24th, 6 a.m. Okay. Yeah, let this one, let this one, um, and, and here's what we're going to do. So, so as we finish here, we're going to go set up our custom audience. Because everyone who watches this video, they're going to be put into a bucket. They're going to be put into a custom audience. And we okay. want to do that right away. We want to set that up right away so Facebook can start tracking that right away. So when we go run ad number two, ad number mm -hmm. three, ad number four, we'll always be able to retarget everyone who's watching this video. The and same custom. Okay. Well, you'll show me that. Yeah, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay. So, so we don't need any custom audiences right here. But, but – if this was ad number two, if mm -hmm. this was ad number two, we would click inside the box right there under custom audiences, search existing audiences. We would click right there. Which no, one? No, 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 to the left, to the left. Don't click that in the box right there. Oh, search yeah. existing. Yeah, mm -hmm. click that. So right here is where we're going to see our audience for people who watched the video. So really, every video immediately when I click that box, you're going to see it immediately because we're going to go set it up right now. We're going to go set it up after we're done with this. So you're going to see you're going to see video view, video view audience, whatever we name hmm. it, like whatever we name it, intro video audience, like whatever the heck we name it. We're going to name it right now in a minute, but you'll see it right there. So if this was ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, every ad, ad number two and on, you'll always want to retarget that video. Because those are people mm. who watched my first one. Those are people who watched my second one. Those are people who are watching my stuff. Retarget them. Show them another yep. ad. Show them another ad until they opt in and download your PDF. And, and that's why once we get the PDF going, we're going to be able to segment. So, for example, if I was in that audience, let's say I watched your video. Let's say we're on ad number three. And I watched your video. And you have me in that audience. But I also clicked on it. I went to your website. I downloaded your PDF. I came to the thank you for downloading page. Cause once I go to your page, I, I enter my name and email. I click the button, send me my PDF. Now I then go to another page where it says, thank you. Your PDF is on the way. Whoever lands on that. Thank you. Your PDF is on the way page. Yeah. That's a custom audience. So whoever okay. lands there is a quote unquote lead. Right. So what I'm going to be able to do is also create an audience around everyone who is a lead. So now what I'm going to do for ad number two and on, click away from this, click away. Yeah, click, going? yeah click right there. Now what I'll do from ad number two and on is I'll click exclude right there at the top. Click on exclude. So now what I would do is I would exclude my leads. 
So oh. now the only people who are seeing my ad are people who are watching my previous videos and people who haven't downloaded my PDF yet. If you've already downloaded my PDF, you're being excluded and you're no longer seeing ads. Wow. Yes. Double well. And, and who is it automated who sends out the PDF or do I do that? It's all automated, but we got to set up a web page. That's a whole landing page. We'll talk about that on, on our next call, but we're going to okay. need some type of landing page software. Most of them run about a hundred bucks a month, but yeah, we talked about that. Um, yeah. Carta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I, I only recommend it if we're going to stay consistent with Facebook ads, which is what I want you to freaking do. Like I want you to be consistent with this. So, so okay. if we're consistent with Facebook ads, that will pay for itself. Like that will pay for itself it's over and over. And everything you said. It so. has the landing page that, that people click on and go to, to, to enter their name and email. And then it has the email autoresponder that triggers the email PDF right away to the lead automatically. And then it has the calendar. So when that lead wants to schedule an appointment with you, they can click on the link and go to your calendar. So, okay. and at the same time, you have me to train you and coach you on all that stuff. Like that, those are the two things that I do is Facebook ads and Karcher training. So you yeah, have well, me for, for all that to build those pages with you. And I already have a bunch of funnels already done. Like I have a listing funnel, an open house funnel, a seller guide funnel. Like I already have the pages done for you. Like all okay. you got to do is activate an account and I transfer all the pages to you. So okay. I can make it super, super simple if we go that route. Okay. So we'll need that on our next call. We'll talk about that on our, on our next call. So, so that's just to include and exclude. Those are our, our custom audiences with location. Let's change that. Let's change out that. Let's type in Austin. And then, and then you don't want to target the whole city of Austin. So we'll change the mileage. Um, we'll just take out us and we'll put in Austin. Oh, okay. Yeah. X out. And then, and then the minimum is 15 miles. So as you type in Austin, the minimum um, is 15. So we have to target at least 15 miles around. Um, but you can kind of gauge it from there. So if you click on the number 15 miles, right oh, there, the drop down, then I could move it. Click on um, like go a little farther north. Well, what you can do, like, for example, hit the 15 miles, hit that drop down. It's either it's either you put in the city like you did right now. No, hit the 15 miles above the drop down next to Austin above here. No, up. You see 15 oh, okay. miles? Got it. Got it. So you can either put the city in like this, or you can put in a physical address and go off of the mileage off of that, the mileage off of that address. Right? So if you have two zip codes you're farming, put in an address and stay 15 miles around that address. Maybe I should put my address in. Yeah, yeah, put it. And, and what you'll want to do is maybe put a neighbor's at, pay, put your neighbor's address, hit that drop down for sure. Hit that drop down. People living in go with people living in this location. This is very, very important okay. because you got different variations. Now um, I have to put an address or what? People living in this location. Hit that one. I did. No, people living in. No, no. You went people living in or recently in go with no. people living in this location. Right. There you go. And then type in your neighbor's address. Don't put your address, put in your neighbor's. Where is it? Search Where do locations, I search locations below that. Oh, okay. Well, my neighborhood, it's, we live in a um, freestanding condo. So it's like houses, but. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So just don't put your unit number. Yeah, for sure. Right, I just don't have to put a unit number. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's see if that pulls. Um, what? I need to put a space. There it is, right there. Awesome, awesome, perfect. Okay, cool. So we can go 15 miles around that address and target that entire area. I don't even see, oh, Austin is south of that. Can I move this? <laughs> You can, you can simply, so go to, go to, um, drop a pin. So right there where it says drop, drop pin, click on drop pin, click on drop pin, and then just drop it wherever you want. So, so go down, don't click until you're ready to click. I think that's good. Okay. So then delete the Palmer lane, delete that one. 
Okay, cool. So that's where we want to be. I would actually maybe want to be a little bit over more this way to the west. Okay, so then do it again. Drop the pin. But again, don't click until you're ready to, to drop it. So. Yeah, I don't want to be that far east. Okay, so go and delete the other one. Where is it to delete this at the one? Top, at the top, exit out. Yeah. This. Yeah. Here? Okay. Okay. That's so, perfect. Okay, I don't perfect. know, if it's great, but it's good. Okay. Perfect. So, so let's do this. Let's let's scroll down. So, age you can no longer change. Gender you can no longer change. Um, the detail targeting you won't you won't um, click on show more options. Slow down. Just click on show more options. <clears throat> Okay, so the detailed targeting, don't worry about that. And then, and yeah, to the to the yeah, and then and then the 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 yeah, it's off all demographics. We're going to target the entire area, so we don't we don't need any of that. And then, so scroll down, and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go manual placement. We're going to go manual placement. We're going to simply I'm, only show I, this. I want to put it back to my address. I don't know. I'm just worried about where it's targeting. I don't want to target places I really don't want to deal with. It's up to you. I mean, it just clearly put in an address, whatever. I mean, yeah. it's totally up to you, like, whatever. Any. Why did you say put in um, somebody else's instead of um, my address? Why did. Well, for... because I'm, I'm recording this and I don't want the world to know where you live. But I mean, oh. you could put your address if you want. So. No, no, I was. Yeah. about putting orders but i yeah and i didn't know if it was for a safety reason that yeah, you okay so i love where i was typing right below it so click out of that okay so go ahead and um search locations or just drop a pin it's up to you drop drop pin or type in an address so, so what now we're gonna we'll do is we're going to go to manual placement. So scroll down. Actually, you know what? Go back to languages. Let's go English all. Let's make sure we change that. That's a let's let's click on go ahead and click edit. on edit. Yeah, edit. So what do you want me to do now? So type in English in the search language. Okay. Okay. And then um, detail targeting, hit edit right there on the detail targeting, edit. So all the edit buttons are to the right. So all you do is scroll over something and then edit is right there. And then right here, what a lot of people try to do is, is type in certain keywords. But in this case, we're targeting a, a little area. So let everyone see it. Like this is our intro video. Let, let everyone see it. We can't change age or anything like that anyways. So we don't even need to narrow it down any further than where we're at right now. So scroll down. Scroll down. We're good there. We're good there. And let's uncheck. So now we're in manual placements. Uncheck Instagram. Uncheck Messenger. Uncheck Audience Network. We're going to have this run strictly in the Facebook news feed. So uncheck everything else. Uncheck the marketplace. Uncheck the video feeds. Uncheck the Facebook stories. Uncheck all that. We're going strictly in the feed. So we'll scroll down. I Extreme, is that right? Everything. Uncheck. Okay. Yeah. Uncheck in article. Uncheck. Yeah. Perfect. But we'll go back up. Uncheck the search. Okay. Cool. Oh, I think. I okay. So now let's scroll down. And, and and so let's go back up real quick. We did put a location, right? So it's it's just giving us that air to the right. But yeah, we're okay. Yeah. Actually. Please add location for your audience. Uh, people living in this location. Yeah, that, I mean, I don't know why it's, it, it, it should be okay once we move forward, but there's there's the location. So we already did that. So it's just not reading it for some reason, but go. It, we should be fine. So just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Um, and then go ahead and click on next. So we're good here. Is next at the top? No, down, bottom oh. right, next. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're in the in the third and final step. Um, so what we're going to do now, since we uploaded that video to the page, 
that video is already there. So we're going to just simply scroll down and right where it says add setup, we're going to hit that drop down, create add, and we're going to go with use existing post or existing post. So go to right there where it says you're going too fast. Go to the very top right there where it says create add right here, add setup, create add, hit that drop down, go with use existing post. Okay. And then all you're going to do is find that post. So click on select post right there, select post. And then just simply find that video, which should be right at the top. Just a little bit about me. Perfect. So click on that one and then hit continue. And Where do I click picture? Yeah, you can. Yeah, try that. Normally it's a box, but yeah, right there you go. Okay, hit continue. Okay, cool. So now here is the way it's going to look. So there's your there's your text. There's your video. Um, it's going to the news feed only. Now scroll down. What we're going to do is we're going to simply add a send message button um, right there where it says add button, the call to action at the top right there. Click on that. And then what we can do is we can we can click on click on the learn more, hit the drop down and learn more is when we're going to send them to a web page. But in this case, we're not sending we're not sending them to a web page. So what we can do just to fill in the spot is we can just put send message. So find the send message one. It should just say, it should, oh, okay. Yeah, Let's send see. message, scroll down. Can you scroll any, any further or is it just? It's not scrolling. Okay, no, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. okay, so send message. And this is not a send message ad, but it's just, we're gonna just update post, go ahead and click the blue one. We're gonna just put it there just, just to fill the spot. Okay. So, now that send message button will be there. And then there goes your title, Christine. So that's why that's why right there in the title, you want it to be short and sweet because look, what we put didn't even fit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. You know? But at least you know for, for future, like just don't write no more than that because okay. you want whatever it is, you want it to try to, you want to try to fit it all right there. Okay. You so know? now if they send message, does it actually send me a message or no? Yeah, it'll send you a message on Facebook, but don't hold your okay. breath because that's not this type of ad. Um, okay. at all. So it's strictly for video views. So let's scroll down. Okay. We don't, we don't need any of that. Cause again, we're not, we, we don't care about the message and then let's go back, click on the top left where that red triangle is at. for some reason it's not, we're going to, we'll just publish anyways, but let's just click on that real quick. The red triangle. Yeah. Click on that. For some reason it's not reading that address, but let's, Let's go back to it. So um, I can put a different address if you want. No, that, what, what, let's just take a look at it. So scroll down. It says, please add a location for your audience. So let's scroll down. Okay. So here, people living in this location, go ahead, and, go ahead and type in that address again or type in, yeah, type in the address again. Yeah. You always, okay. Yeah. That's another, another good thing. You all, when you, yeah. Whenever you see a drop down, click on the drop down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. So this is people living in this location, 15 miles around that address. That's perfect for real estate. Like you want to brand the heck out of this area right here. So right. we're good. So let's scroll down a bit, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Let's see what's below. If we need to update anything else. And other than that, I think we're good. Um, Let's um, scroll down just a bit. Okay, we're good here. We're good here. Okay, good. We're good. So now we're going to just hit next, and then we're going to click the green one to publish. And that is it. So let's publish. And so now here's what's going to happen. The ad will go into review for the next few hours, and then and then it'll it'll be scheduled. You'll get an email or notification. Normally, it's an email. Um, mm -hmm. You'll get an email right when um, right when that ad is approved and is scheduled to go live. How so come it's multiple items published? What's that? There was a little box that came up that said multiple items published. So each step is an item: intro video, Austin intro video. These are your three steps. These are your three oh. tabs. Those okay. are the three assets. So those are the three things that are being in review right now. So okay. X out of this, let's go and create a custom audience really quick around this video. So we're going to start okay. capturing it. No, 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 no. Not right there to the left, the X to the left. So just X out of this 
box right here. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's X out of the one selected, the blue, one selected, one selected, one selected, X out of those three. These are our three tabs. So this is what right. we just spent time on is the campaigns, the ad set, and the ad. So refresh this page here. This in draft will say in review. So go ahead and refresh this. So this third tab is the actual video. That's the ad. That's the video. That's what will be in review. Um, and then if you click on the middle tab, so it should say in review. There is it right there. So if you click on the middle tab, it should say scheduled because Facebook already approved that. They already approved your budget. They already approved your targeting. They already approved your calendar, the start and end date. Um, all that's already approved. And if you click on the campaigns to the left, that's already approved as well. That's the objective of video views. That's already approved. So, and I so, guess so, mm -hmm. it says mm -hmm. lifetime, but it's only going to run for the dates I put in, right? Exactly. exactly. Lifetime, what, lifetime over the 30 day period. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So now here's what we're going to do click on the dots to the left. Okay, okay, we're gonna click on audiences. So if you scroll down, you should see audiences. Yeah, okay. perfect. And this is what you wanna do all the time. So whenever you put that new video out, that new Facebook ad, that new video, you're gonna upload it to the business page just like we did. You're gonna set up the ad just like we did. And then right away, we're gonna come over here and create a custom audience of that video, okay? whether it's video number two, video number 22, it doesn't matter. Right away, we come over here and create another audience around that specific video. So go ahead and click that, create a custom audience. And then we're going to click on um, video right there to the left. Video. Do people remember this? What's that? How to do, do people remember how to do this? Heck yeah. You're going to know this like the back of your hand. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. And you're going to have this recording. So you'll be able to watch this a million times. So And I can message you and say i'm stuck oh pff, right that's what i'm gonna be here for yeah you got me way past these first calls yeah that's what I'm, i'll be here for is to analyze these ads with you so click on that click inside this right here is the percentage this right here is is we're telling facebook go ahead and click click right here we're telling facebook what audience what type of audience do we want to build if it's a two-minute video do i do i want to build an audience around everyone who watches 10 seconds of it or 15 seconds of it or 25% of my two minute video, right? So we can we can, we can can choose what we wanna do. And what I normally do is I go at 25%. Someone that sits there and watches 10 seconds of it, mm, they, might, they might get some type of maybe first impression, but that's all it is. They're not gonna get full value out of it. They only watch 10 seconds. 15 seconds is, is maybe, maybe a little bit more. And this amount of time in the social media world is a long time. Like if you sit there and watch a damn video for 25 seconds, yeah, it obviously caught your attention, right? Right. Like that's a long right. time in social media world. But but at the same time, to build a custom audience around those who only watch 10 seconds, like I don't really want to waste my time with that. I'd go 25%. So if you sat there and you watched 25 seconds of my one minute video, I'm going to show you another one, right? Okay. I'm going to show right. you another. So I'm going to go 25%. Let's go 25%. And then go ahead and click on choose video and you're going to choose that video. You'll see it here in the drop down. Go ahead and choose. There it is there at the top. Check the box. Hit confirm. And then we're going to name this audience. So right there at the bottom, audience name, we're going to name this one intro video. This is intro video. And then in parentheses, put 25%. Perfect. So as you go and run your next ad, in the, in the ad set, in the second, go ahead and create audience, hit the blue button. In the ad set, in the second step, you'll then be able to choose this audience to target. So just like we, cho choose, just like we chose the address, you mm -hmm. can see this audience and you can choose this audience. So ad number two, we can choose this audience. I got you. I got you. Okay. Right? So, so, so go ahead and bookmark this page. This is our custom audience page. Let's bookmark this. Yeah, let's name this one custom audiences, custom audiences. 
Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're good. Now click on click on the, the dots to the left and let's go back to the ads manager. So we got our custom audience ready to go, ready to start collecting data for us. And then we have this ad ready to go live tomorrow. So um, intro videos, we're good. So here's what, here's what you wanna do. This is gonna go for 30 days, so just let it go. We need, we need to talk again within the, next, within the next five, six, seven days. Okay. So let's, let's, chat, let's chat next week. And that's when we wanna, we wanna why don't you do this? Let me, here, I'm gonna give you a little bit of homework. Here, let, let's, 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 let's do this first. Work on that next video. So okay. no rush, no rush. Cause this one's going to run for 30 days. Normally we want to go a new ad every seven days, but I don't mm. want to rush you. Cause, cause I know you're just getting in the, in the, in the, in the groove of video. So work on the next video. That's your homework. Work on the, on the next video. That next video is simply, is going to be the first one in which we're getting people to download our seller guide. So okay. take what I would do is I'd pull out your seller guide and just review mm. it. Review it and, and, and pick out different things that I can talk about in that seller guide. One minute okay. video. I'll One, go get the seller guide printed so yeah, that yeah. I have yes. so that I have the visual. Yes. Okay. Go get it printed and, 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 and get the get it printed in color if you can. Get it printed in color because it yeah. looks good when you're showing it on video, right? So you can show it. Hey guys, and by the way, here's our PDF. You know, go ahead and click learn more, download it. But but all you want to do is just is just is start making little video clips of every important thing, paragraph, sentence, highlight in the in the PDF. Okay. Right. So we're talking about the PDF. We're highlighting the PDF. I'm talking about what's on page three, and then and then and then I'm giving my two cents via video on it. Right. Mm -hmm. And then at the right. end of it, I'm saying, hey guys, and by the way, I'd love to give you a free copy. Click learn more. And that's what, that's what it is. So, so in this video, the button is send message mm -hmm. on every ad after this, the button is learn more. Okay. So I'm verbally telling that, telling that, telling that to them in the video and I'm doing it at the end. So, Hey guys. And by the way, if you'd like a free copy, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free copy. See you guys there. Right. So okay. one minute video, two minute video, it shouldn't have to be no more than that. Sometimes people talk forever and that's fine, but as far as being, you know, short, at least a minute, do at least a minute to two minutes if possible. And, 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 and do them like they're going out of style. Don't even, don't, don't even overthink it, Christine, have fun with it. Have fun with it. You know, this business more than anybody. I'm trying. <laughs> like, and, and that's another thing that I'm going to leave you with in closing. What I want you, what you need to understand, what you need to understand is that you're the professional. You're the licensed professional. You're the one who's been serving that city forever. You're the one that knows more about residential real estate than 99% of the entire area. And that's a fact because 99% of the area don't have their license. They don't practice right. real estate like you do. So, right. so even though I know about real estate, shit, I don't know more than you do. You practice this stuff daily, right? So your neighbors, right. people that are seeing these videos, don't mm -hmm. ever think that they're going to prejudge you. Now, maybe prejudge in the sense of, oh, I don't like the way she looks. Maybe prejudging in that sense, but not prejudging on her knowledge. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about talking about something and somebody calling you out on it. No, they're not. Like, unless yeah. you come across, unless Robert Kiyosaki sees it and says, hey, yeah, she's full of shit. I don't even hire real estate agents. Unless some random billionaire, but at the same time, billionaires aren't even talking down on people. So it's like, don't worry about that because you know more about this stuff than anybody that's ever going to see these videos. So okay. have that confidence and just know that, know that, know that. So it, it almost comes down to no matter what the heck you say, people are still going to dig what you're saying. Right. You're the professional. Next, so when, when I do this next visit video, this is the one that I end with, um, you know, click the learn more button. Yep. I'll yep. get, and I'll get a, buy, a seller's guide right out to you. Yes. Something every, like every like video from this point on. Yep. Okay. Every video from this point on. So, so what I want you to do over the next week is work on that next video. Once that video is done, op upload it to your business page and then schedule the call. Cause then, then we'll have it on the page ready to go. And we'll just need to go activate a, a 14 day trial for some landing pages. Okay. And I can help you put together the landing pages in freaking two minutes. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Cool. All right. All right. Thanks, Christine. So yes. Yeah, so, 
okay. Did you, you, I don't know that you even, I mean that video, I hope it's okay. Oh no, freaking awesome. It's awesome. Don't even worry about it. It's awesome. It's awesome. Don't even worry about it. So right. let it, let it run. And then, and then let's chat next week. Sounds good. Thanks, Dave. Have a wonderful weekend. You too. Thanks. Enjoy your Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.